Recently, you have probably heard about the so-called strawberry moon that will appear on the evening of June 3rd, 2023. When I first heard the phrase strawberry moon, I actually kind of thought that the moon would look red or pink or any other color that resembles these delicious berries. Therefore, a question arose in my head. Why is the moon called this way? After conducting profound research on this topic, and by profound research I of course mean surfing the first page of a Google search, I found out that the term strawberry moon refers to the full moon that appears during the month of June. You see, at this time, the full moon coincides with the period of ripening strawberries. Therefore, some Native American tribes uh, basically use the name strawberry moon to mark the period when it's time to gather strawberries. And that's why basically the moon is called the strawberry moon in June. So does it mean that the moon won't appear pink in color? No. The June moon won't look any different compared to other moons throughout the year. Strawberry moon is simply a nickname and it just became the most popular one even though it's one of the many names given to the full moon in June. For example, some other names are green corn moon, hot moon and even honeymoon. That's pretty cool. If you want to catch a glimpse of the moon on June 3rd, simply look towards the southeast shortly after sunset. When the moon is positioned near the horizon, you might actually notice a slight orange hue to its appearance, but nothing that resembles pink. However, this phenomenon doesn't have to do anything with the strawberry moon. This orange hue is present due to the Earth's atmosphere distorting the moonlight as it passes through more layers of our planet's atmosphere. This phenomenon can be actually observed at any period throughout the year, and as soon as the moon rises high enough above the horizon, the moon returns back to its normal colors. All right, but what if you want to see the strawberry moon through a telescope? You can certainly do that, but the brightness of the full moon will make it difficult to observe surface details without a lunar filter. It would probably be better to wait a few days after the full moon ends in order to see more features of the lunar surface. In any case, the full moon of June 2023 will not look different compared to any other full moons of the year. If you want to see more videos about future astronomical events, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching very interesting videos. Bye.